boys' food fight. This is Lviv. Look at the beautiful market. I'm in Lviv, which is kind of like Jerusalem is to Israel. Very popular, busy town, but still far enough away from the uh, front lines that I'm sort of safe. Wow, I love it here. Fabulous. Artem, tell me about this bunker. Oh, it's old bunker. It uh, has big history. It started at uh, 1320 years. And now we took this place coffee. And now we have coffee in the bunker. Good cappuccino. Good cappuccino. This is the coolest coffee place I've ever been to. The most beautiful restaurant, the most beautiful town, and the best cappuccino in my whole life. With Artem, my best Ukrainian friend. Frank, we are opening a restaurant. Look, they cut off your ties. Come, come. Show me. They, this is the rib joint we're opening next. Hand washing sink. Look at the awesome tables. Hi, everybody. Hi. This is for my mommy and daddy. New best friend. Vegetables. Look at this place. It's amazing. High ceilings, ribs, and then we go over here. Look at this place. Look at this place. Weapons. Wood. And this is the money shot. Wow. Wow, look at those ribs. Those are baby back ribs. What's that? This is ribs. Ribs. Oh, the ribs are right here, right? Yes. They're made from the people ribs. This is my next concept in Chicago. This is the oldest can opener. This was built during World War II. But it works. All those fancy can openers. This thing is a hundred years old. And Marina, superstar. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. I got all this from the local market. I don't know what this is. A mushroom that I got from a gentleman that literally picks in fields near town. We found some worms in them. You gotta clean them and put them in vinegar. And then you gotta cook them for a while. But they're delicious. We find out we are making chickpea salad with these beautiful tomatoes. This is sorrel. This is what they use to make green bush, right? Green board. Green board. <laughs> and we're going to toss it with tomatoes, cucumbers, radishes, onions. And look at this. Pork from the local market. Onions and garlic. Now we take First of all, let me do this. Ready? Okay. Set. Woo! Look at this. Chickpea salad. That is going to be so good. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. And they use apple cider vinegar everywhere I go here. Okay. You got that? Oh. 
Open. Oh, oh. This bottle of wine, two dollars. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now we got chicken broth. Put that over ravioli that I got from a local woman. The ravioli's got potatoes and cheese in them. To them, they're dumplings. To me, they're ravioli. Maybe in, in, maybe in Poland, they're almost pierogies. Maybe at my Jewish deli, they're breplocks. It's pasta stuffed with stuff. Yes. Super stuff. <laughs> you know, food fight. Hot, hot, hot. Then these are the local mushrooms. They think they're the greatest. They look to me ugh, like grated Parmesan. There's the ravioli, Italian style, with the green herb sorrel that is very popular here. Chickpea salad, chickpeas with feta cheese. And this is the team. I think when the folks are just starting to come in, about 150 today, 150. I think what I'm best at is team building. I'm good in the kitchen, I'm a good chef, but what I'm best at is making a team. Every day is a new team, three to four new women every day. And every day we bond and make them breakfast. Then later I get them coffee and donuts. We laugh, we listen to rap music, we goof off. We listen to String Cheese Incident, and we build a culture, a team of love, and that's my strength in cooking. Tomorrow is paella with shrimp and sausage for 150. Fresh meats. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Everything made fresh. Oh my God, look at these. They don't want to call them hot dogs. They refuse to call them hot dogs. But they're freaking hot dogs. Look at all this, look at this. Fresh turkey. Oh, we gotta show you this. Check this out. Bacon. Look at that. Bacon. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Heaven. This place is heaven. We are making paella. Check this out. Do you know how hard it was to... Hi, Olina. Hello. Best friend. Any saffron -y type of product to make this rice and to find the right rice, it was just a joy. Just a joy. We've got the shrimp. Hello. 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 Look at the shrimp. Ten kilos, about twenty-two pounds. Then I found the closest I could to andouille Cajun sausage. That's jambalaya. Paella is let's just call it chorizo. Delicious sausage. And all this bread. Hello. Hello. Slicing the bread that I got from the local market. And this is French butter. Very expensive, relative to what's going on out here. And then we're gonna take some of these. Puppies. Um, puppies. Woo -hoo -hoo, they like spicy here. Turns out they like spicy. Paella, jambalaya. <coughs> we roasted some peppers and they're spicy. Whoa, look at me sweating. We're making paella. Wait, wait. That's 10 kilos of shrimp, 22 pounds. That's six kilos of spicy sauce. That's about 12 
to 14 pounds. I'm going to cook the shrimp and the sausage. I already seasoned everything. Look, onions and garlic. I'm going to roast this for a little bit. Look, keep it going, keep it going. Look, look, look. We roasted these peppers. They are. <coughs> oh my god. They're crazy hot. Crazy hot. And when you roast them, the smoke that it produces in the kitchen, well, now that I ate one, my head is about to explode. Olena. Olena. <laughs> A little lemon juice, a little saffron, which is very hard to find. We're going to top it with some cilantro, and we got some peas. Now these are not what we know in American peas. I'm not quite sure what they are. They're almost like a cross between garbanzos and peas. They're fabulous. Mmm, they're so good. I think they're chanterelles. I don't know. These are beautiful mushrooms in USA. Two kilos, maybe four or five pounds. I don't know, 50 bucks. Here, yes. two kilos, four or five pounds. Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. Oi vey. Joyce Food Fight. Wait, come here. My new BFF. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Superstar. This is bulgur wheat, lentils, and number three is peas, split peas. Then I put some, that's parsley, we got oil that we put in there earlier, and we already put in, everybody uses apple vinegar. I already put in a lot. She get mad if I put in more. We're making that salad has got local tomatoes and carrots and cucumbers. And then we come over here. This is the oil from the chickens. Onions. Pepper. That's actually kosher salt. We got some black pepper, we got some kosher salt, and the chicken that we roasted produced this oil. Wow! Hi. Hey, my best friend. 80% of life, peppers, that's the cell with the three beans, bulgur, lentil, and peas, and the mushrooms. There's my team, 80% of life is showing up with passion. If you love it, everything else is good. What have I learned in my week plus in Ukraine? first thing I've learned, I've seen it loud and clear, is get here later, not at the beginning. At the beginning, Red Cross, everybody knows, it's in the news, help, 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 help. Now, it's, you see the news, and they talk about the war a little bit, but not much. I'm here at a great time. People have forgotten about Ukraine. Not everybody, I'm not blaming, I'm not talking politics. They've forgotten. I'm here, and people are really in need. So I'm really of service right now. It's just like, think about um, Puerto Rico. 
Do you guys even remember that they lo they like had no electricity or anything for a while? They're probably still struggling, not even in the news. That's how it feels around here. That's how the people feel. I'm here at the perfect time. Next week on Joey's Food Fight.